Um, can we first give a round of applause to Pat, who put all of this together, Pat and Ryan. It takes so much work, and, and Pat is so dedicated. So, I want to tell you how Pants Off Racing came to be in uh, my life. Um, about 10 years ago, I was married to a comedian. His name was Sam Brown. I don't know if any of you recognize that name. He was once voted the funniest comedian in New York. And um, we, things, things moved pretty quickly. We got married, and very soon after we had my son, Max, which was so exciting, and I was like, Max, I've always wanted you. Thank God you're not ugly. Because <laughs> we all want a healthy baby, but we also want a cute baby. I am not a comedian, by the way, so. <laughs> Um, then, and then shortly after that, my son Leo was born on Christmas on a tiny wooden cross. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to say that, and it seemed the only appropriate place to say it. Anyway, right around the time that um, I was about to give birth to Leo, Sam's back was hurting. And I was kind of resentful, because I was like, why am I the one going to Ikea and you are on your back? And I uh, was like, can't you just have regular uh, empathy, like uh, get fat? But no, he was on his back in a lot of pain. And it turns out, we found out about four weeks after my youngest was born, that um, the reason why his back was hurting is he had pancreatic cancer. And um, you can imagine how hard it was. I had my husband, I had a newborn, and I had my three-year-old, who was very close to his dad. And um, it was four very difficult months. And one of the things that we did with Sam as a family was we went to Disneyland and Sam had bought my son a parrot, a little stuffed parrot that was part of a pirate kit. And cut to, in June, Sam passed away. And um, I don't know what happened, you know, everything was in a haze. And somehow I had been cleaning out all the stuff and I threw the parrot away, the stuffed parrot. And when Max found out that the parrot wasn't there, he was only three, he was, he was crushed, he was apoplectic, you can imagine, and I felt like the worst mother in the world. So a couple months went by and I got a phone call from someone and they said, there's an organization called Pants Off Racing and they want to know if they can help you. And I, was, I remember I was sitting in my car, I was like, you know, no, I don't want help. They should help a family that really needs it. And I hung up the phone and then I realized, you know what, there is something, there's one thing that they could do. And I called them up and I said, there's a stuffed parrot at Disneyland and it's in a pirate kit and if you could find that, I would just be so grateful. And they said, no problem. And um, a couple weeks went by and sure enough, they showed up this. Yeah, a stuffed parrot. And I can't tell you how much that meant to my family. So they came over and they brought Christmas gifts and I remember thinking, well, this is really nice, they brought Christmas gifts, but I don't see how it's really helping families. So I was a little skeptical. And as the years passed and I realized they kept showing up. You know, the next year they showed up and when we moved to Boston for a very short period of time, they came and took my children to the aquarium. When I moved back to LA, they offered to help move. When I needed help trick-or-treating, because imagine going on, I don't know if any of you have been on Montana and 16th. Um, it gets dark and scary with two little kids. They came trick-or-treating. They took my kids rock climbing. So the thing that I love most about this organization is that they are so personally involved with the families. And I just wanted to share that with all of you. Um, and like my, and, and the other thing I love most about this organization is that they choose to honor all the people that we love, not with sadness, but the opposite, by enjoying life, by living, and by laughing. And in the words of my late husband, Sam Brown, those who laugh last. So I want to leave you with that. <laughs> Wow.